YouTube channel, Luke's Bonsai. You join me, my name's Luke. A um, little bit about me, I've been doing Bonsai for about two years now. Um, my, actually, my dad inspired me to get into it. I've been following a few YouTube channels um, and just thought, I do quite a lot of work on trees, so I thought I'd do a little bit of content for you guys. Um, so, today we've got this pyrocanther, so we're just going to go through it, potentially shorten it down, remove any unnecessary branches that are crossing over, any like bar branches we need to remove, um, and then we could potentially get it potted up as well, so some more free draining soil, um, it's just in some nursery soil at the moment, so we want to get a nice free draining, better for the root system, get the root system like established, um, but yeah. Join me on this and um, we'll uh, run you through what we're going to do with it. So we've got this pile of camphor, um, we're just going to go through it. So it's quite a tall tree, it's probably about 80 centimetres tall at the moment. Obviously we're going to reduce that down. We'll remove this cane out, that's just there for when nurseries tend to just sort of grow them to get them nice and tall. Um, but yeah, we'll get rid of this, take this off. Get that out of the way, don't need that. So yeah, we've got to find a front for, for the tree. Um, it's got some very nice movement low down here. A little bit straight here, so we may get a bit of wire on it just to try and get some bit of movement in it. Um, try and remove maybe some of these branches here just because of inverse taper potentially coming on here. Um, and then yeah, we'll reduce the height down a little bit, get some wire on it. Okay, so let's get into it. So first of all what I'm going to do is just remove it from the pot, just to see what root system we've got. As you can see there, very healthy tree, loads of roots on that. Um, so yeah, what we're going to try and do first is just expose the trunk a little bit more here, just to see how much we've uh, got to play with, try and find any find some nabari potentially. Um, so yeah, as for this, I'm going to be using a root hook, so this just, basically you can just scrape it towards you, always scrape away from you, just to get the roots coming outwards. Um, the root hooks, they can be quite, uh, quite strong here, so what you want to do is just do it nice and gentle, just go around the tree, obviously having a turntable really does help, so yeah, just keep going around the tree. Just keep going down, you can see a couple of roots here, um, but yeah, we'll just keep going down, expose some more trunk, see how far we can go down with it. Um, there's also another tool that you can use, which is called a rake, uh, which is here. Um, so it's got like, it's like a fork basically, bent over fork, so you can use this as well. Um, I tend to find that this does a bit more more damage to the roots, so I like to use the root hook um, and just get in there like so. so just go around the tree, a couple of roots pointing up here, I might have to bring them forward like so. They get damaged, that's fine because at the top they're quite quite big roots there. So get um, get rid of them unnecessary ones there. Keep going down as you can see we're getting quite low down now we've probably exposed about an inch inch of the trunk underneath the soil so we'll keep going just like this nice root there just keep working your way around what I might do here. So we've got some roots that are here, they're a bit high up, so I'm just going to remove them. I don't want them ones. Just keep going down. This one for my life is pointing up a little bit, so we'll pull that down. Okay, right, now we're finding some roots. So, I don't know if you can see that there. We've got this one here. So I'm just going to keep going around, just expose a bit more. Pop your back there. Just 
just obviously being careful not to do too much damage to the roots. As you can see, I'm just teasing the soil out of the uh, the root system, just exposing the trunk a bit more. Got some nice roots coming over this side as well. Um, there is a little crossing over branch uh, root here. Sorry, I'm just going to remove this one. Any ones that are crossing over, ideally you want to get rid of. Um, just causes problems down the line. remove that one there as well because it is crossing over so we'll get rid of that, that one as well we'll take that back like so so we've got some nice roots that are spreading outwards which is fine so we can get get away with that so we've got to this stage now so next step really is to choose choose which branches to remove and which not so we may keep maybe this one as a sacrificial branch. So sacrificial basically meaning to try and thicken up the trunk a little bit more down the bottom. Um, and then we want to keep the smaller ones and use the smaller ones in order to create the tree as such. So with this one it may be an informal upright potentially. Um, but yeah, what we'll do, maybe remove this one here. So then we've got nice access to that front. Bring some of these bring some of these down, reduce the height of the tree, yeah, go from there. Okay, so I'm going to go with this as being the front of the tree. We've got some nice like radial roots here which we can sort of manipulate down and wire down, um, which will be nice, and then that should give a nice spread in the future. What I'm going to do is remove this one just because it's coming straight towards me. Um, it's not really in a good position, so we'll get rid of that one there that back like that we can potentially use this one as a sacrificial branch um, what I'm going to do is actually just shorten that down so we'll get a pair of secateurs what we'll do we'll just shorten it down to the next bud so we've got a bud here I'm just going to shorten that to there kind of like this branch that's coming down here so we'll keep that one I'm not too sure about this at the moment. It's coming down at a bit of a a weird angle and it might interfere with this one here. So although whether to keep that one and bring that round. Okay, so me saying about potentially leaving this one on as a sacrificial branch, I might actually take this one off. Just for the reason being of these will thicken up over time anyway and then create this to be a bit thicker. Um, but in proportion of the trunk compared to the branches I think it's quite nice um, size. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to take this off here. Leave a little bit, a little bit of dye back. Um, as I'm going along as well, I use a bit of cut paste. This is the cut paste that I use. Um, I'll just pop that on there just to protect it from any diseases um, and it helps helps the tree um, recover more and uh, it will form over nicely um, so yeah what we're going to do now is just uh, get some wire on these on these lower branches here so yeah now what we're going to do is just get some some wire on these lower branches here just sort of bring them down potentially bring that one down as well may actually get rid of that one, we'll see but yeah, we'll start getting some wire on it ok, so we're going to start getting some wire on so I'm just going to take a length off um, I believe this is 2 mil wire so what you want to do is, if this is the front of the tree, how I like to do it is the two branch principle so what we do just run that along there and just start going round fairly tightly 
try to avoid any of the foliage. Don't get it trapped, otherwise it will die back. So yeah, what we want to do is just keep doing this all the way down. Not trapping any. If there are some in the way, you can always remove them. So anything that's growing downwards, I tend to find to take off. So, okay, spin this round, get in here. So what I'm going to do as well is just probably shorten back these branches, they are a bit, a bit long so what I'm going to do, we'll get them manipulated down into position. I like to get a little bit of bend in it just to get a little bit of character, like so. As it comes down, cut it back to a bud. Somewhere around there. It's quite nice, cut that back to a bud as well. So hopefully what it will do is just start budding back here and make these pads a bit more fuller. Um, we've got this branch here that's coming directly down towards us. Um, as you can see here, um, it's not really what we want. Um, can't really move it off in a different direction as it just doesn't look right to me. Um, what I'll do for now though is I'll shorten it back to that there. I'll leave it on there for the moment. Um, just going to trim these back a little bit just to get the proportion of the tree going. So I'll go there, I'll go there. There's a big branch around the back as well. Um, that could do with being shortened back. Um, there's one here as well that could do with being shortened. Let's take that back to there. As for the height of the tree, I'm thinking sort of somewhere around around here. We can use these to come down, and create a new a new apex. Potentially there actually is quite nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it off here. So I'm going to use some side cutters here. Um, so what I'm going to do is we'll get that there, I'm just going to chop it here, so that's gone, all of that, don't need that, so it's a nice, more workable size tree, um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get it wired up, um, do a little time lapse for you so you don't have to watch me wire it all, um, and then yeah. We'll see what it's like at the end. Okay, so this is what we have achieved now. Um, so it's all fully wired at the desired height that I'd like the tree. So what we tend to do is put the, the branches coming downwards. Um, and it's got some nice movement in this that we've achieved with the wire. So what we're going to do is just allow that to fill out now. Now it's all trained. We're going to get it into a pot. And we're going to put it in some nice free drain in the soil. As you can see here, we've got some nice roots. So I'm just going to pin these down, and then in the future there will be nice radial roots. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to quickly do now is with all these cuts that I've made there around here, I'm just going to apply this cut paste to it again, um, and then yeah, we'll get it potted up.
apply the same. For the pyro camphor, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in a deep plastic training pot. Um, so these ones have already got um, like mesh built in, so I'm going to have to put any mesh or anything like that in. So I'm just going to put some wire in just to secure the tree into the pot. I like to do this with all of my trees, just to prevent them from falling out of the pot. So I'll just do that, like so. As for the soil mix that I like to use, it consists of like Akadama, uh, mainly Akadama, just to get it more, uh, what's the word, get more air into the roots basically, um, more free draining, um, and then it's got some organic um, compost in there. So what I'm going to do is just put a layer of that into the pot, like so, grab the tree, is here and you want to position it sort of centre um, or near enough centre of the pot. Um, you don't want it to go too high um, in the pot so what you want to do is crack the mound, just push down like so, Maybe something like there, it's leaning towards me so you might want to get a little bit more just underneath it, over here like so. Got to mention as well the soil has some sphagnum moss in there as well which helps root development um, helps recover the tree quite nicely so yeah we're going to go with something like this just get it nice in the pot make sure we get the tree nice and centre of the pot there like so What you want to do is just fill it in like so. Any roots that are pointing up, just try and put them down like so. If not, just give them a little trim. And then what we want to do is we want to grab a pot and stick. So I've got this one here. Just go around, get any air gaps out, just push the soil down. Try and get it into that root ball. Just like knead your fingers down, push the soil down into the lower root ball. Like so. Do you get a bit more soil? Spread that around, bring that forward a little bit like so, and then what you want to do is you want to now tie the tree in. So, what we tend to use for this is some gym pliers. Uh, so, these are the ones that I have. What you want to do is get the wire, go over to the back of the tree, over the back of the root ball, bring this one up like so. Just going to snip these off. Excess. And then what you want to do, get the tree wire ball, turn and then pull it like so. Don't pull too hard or twist too hard should I say because the wire can potentially snap. So you just want to pull, wind down, pull, wind down, yeah. like so. That'll be the tree structure in the pot. Just snip off a little bit of the excess, put that down. I'm going to snip off this root because it's putting up too much for my liking. Let's go round. Like so. Okay. So that's the tree all complete. Yeah, definitely a transformation from before and after. So what we'll do is we'll just let this develop, um, and then yeah, we'll give it a good water now once we've taken it outside, and that's it. So the tree is now finished. 
as you can see it's been put into a plastic training pot um, went through all the wiring technique um, and obviously we've chopped off quite a lot of the top which was quite a lot there so that used to be there so that's been taken off we've cracked the new apex um, so yeah this is now uh, ready for development just allow it to grow let it do its thing get some feed on it in a in a few months time um, but yeah hope you've enjoyed the video please leave a like um, if you're new to the channel then subscribe um, leave your comments down below let me know what you think um, and yeah there'll be an update on this in the future thanks for watching guys take care